My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be looking at Google Sites and in particular, the announcement banner. I'm going to show you how you can activate this, how you can change the way it looks, where it is displayed and also what you can use it for on your Google Sites. So without waiting, let's jump into it. Here I have a template open. This is a template for a class website and this template has three pages the home page, a schedule page, and a newsletter page. Now let's say that there is an important announcement that I need to announce to all parents or students visiting this website. Well, I can use the announcement banner. Now in order to activate the announcement banner, you have to go into your settings. So let's click on the settings icon at the top. We're going to click on this cogwheel. And then here on the left hand side, we have a number of different settings and options. The one I'm looking for is announcement banner. So let's go ahead and select announcement banner. This now gives me the option to activate this banner. I can activate it by switching this toggle. And as soon as it's activated, this banner will be displayed on my website. However, before doing that, let's add a bit more context to this. We're going to give our banner a color. So I want everyone to really see this banner. It has to stand out. And so let's select a red color. And let's have a message as well. Please follow this link for more information on Sports Day. Okay, this will be on the announcement banner at the top. And now because we're referencing a link, we also want to add a button with a link. So we can do that down here. You can see we have a button label. I will say info. And then the link, this will link to another page or it can even link to an external website. For the sake of this demonstration, let's link this to our Apps Events website. So we're going to pop that website in there and tick the box to open this in a new tab. We don't want them to leave the Google Sites. We want this to be opened in a new tab. And then we can select the visibility. Do you want to display this on every single page or the home page only? At the moment, it is set to all pages. Well, let's change that to home page only so you can see it in action. Once we're ready with all this, we double check it and we can close our settings. As soon as you close your settings, it is saved and you will see that that banner is activated. So here at the top, you see, please follow this link for more information on Sports Day. However, when I go to one of the other pages, say the schedule page, there is no announcement banner, newsletter, Again, no announcement banner. Homepage has that announcement. Now let's have a look at this in the preview window. So we're going to preview our website. This is what it will look like, a bold banner at the top with a link. And when I click on that button, it opens up the Apps Events website in a separate tab. And I hope you found this helpful. Do let me know in that comment section below, how are you going to be using the announcement banner? I've used this for updates to the timetable, important announcements for parents, reminders for special events, as well as announcements that had to do with online learning, in-person learning, or maybe even a change to the different lessons they will have the following day. Many different ways you can use the announcement banner. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you subscribe right now. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.